In this video, I'm going to show you how the listings only IDX accounts work on Realty Ninja. So this is for people that have a website that's not a Realty Ninja site that they're happy with and they want to keep, but it's lacking MLS and real estate functionality. So to get started, you want to log into your IDX account, check your email for your login information. It was sent to you when you signed up. Once you're logged into the back end, go ahead and click Manage Pages. This will show you a light box of the default pages that come with your account. On the right side, you'll see a few icons for page options and copying the embed code for each page. I'm going to go ahead and click View Embed Code beside Featured Listings. This takes me to a section that allows me to choose a size. I recommend just leaving the default for that. And then the embed code is listed below. I'm going to copy that code by highlighting it. And I'm on a Mac, so I'll hit Command C. But on PC, you can do Control C or just right click and copy. Now, this next step is different depending on what system you're using for your website. For this example, I've just put together a very basic website that I'm going to paste this code into. So I'm going to open my code editor. Uh, this is for the featured listings. And let's say I just want it right there. So I'll paste in the code where I want it to appear and hit save. Then just for my little demo here, I'm gonna open my FTP program, upload those files, and we can take a look. So this is the basic website I put together. I haven't uh, reloaded the page yet because I wanna just show you. So the elements you see right now would represent my existing non-Realty Ninja website. And then now that I put that code, I reload the page and the embed code appears where I've put the code in place. The way it works is an iframe and it dynamically changes the height based on whatever content is inside of it. So for this example, I'm showing my featured listings and that appears in list, grid, table, or map view. And if I click into a listing, I can see all the details uh, of that listing presented to me nicely. Okay, now I'll show you how to do the same kind of thing for an MLS search. So we're gonna go back to the Manage Pages light box, and beside Listing Search, I'm just gonna copy the default embed code. I'll do the exact same steps as before for a generic MLS search that just covers everything. I'll load my FTP program and put those files on there. So this is what the search looks like by default, but if I start playing around with the parameters, then you can see the results underneath. Now let's say I wanted a page that only had North Vancouver or any MLS search criteria on it. In this case, we'll say it's North Vancouver condos for sale. So I'm gonna go back to my account, click back and create a new page. I'll type in North Vancouver condos for sale, and the page type is an MLS search. I'll hit create page. Next, I wanna go over to this little icon here that will allow me to change the parameters on the search. When I click it, I can choose property type condos, and in this case, I wanted North Vancouver. And if I wanted to, I could go further and start playing around with some of the other options. For example, year built or square foot. I can change the default order and I can do a bunch of stuff here. But for this example, I'm just going to go ahead with North Vancouver condos. Apply changes. Grab that embed code and repeat the exact same steps. The page will load with all their criteria pre-selected and they can quickly drill down from there. And finally, I'm going to show you a couple more things you can do with your account. I'll close this light box and I'll head over to this listings tab. This tab will show you all of your own active listings which are automatically imported into the account and kept up to date. You can also import additional listings from the MLS by typing in MLS numbers here and clicking import. It will load those in and display them with the rest.
You can also add listings manually to your website by clicking this link. You'll be presented with a form where you can fill it in with all the information that you have about the listing, as well as photos and PDFs. Now let's say I want to create a page called My Favorite Listings and just add a bunch of listings to it. I'll go ahead and click Manage Pages again, then Create New Page, give it a name, and the page type will be Listings. Click Create Page when you're done, and then click Done. Now if you go to the Listings tab, you'll see the new tab on the side called My Favorite Listings, and you can import listings by MLS number here or manually, and they'll appear there. And to grab the embed code, you'll go to Manage Pages, and right beside My Fave Listings, you'll see the View Embed Code. And you would just follow the exact same steps as we showed earlier. You can also do the exact same thing for buildings. You can add a building here and fill in the form manually, as well as create a custom group of buildings uh, or as many custom groups of buildings as you need. And lastly, you have settings for various things on your website. There are little um, descriptions between each field. Please read them and let us know if you have any questions. You can manage your contact information, social media, and you can add your own custom CSS and additional code that will be loaded with your IDX account. If you ever get stuck, head over to help and you can read our getting started guide, documentation, email us, or give us a call.